Welcome to Catholic Views. I'm your host, Renee Kranz. On today's show, we will have a lovely couple, Merlin and Hannah Huff, here. They recently joined the church uh, this past Easter as a couple, as a married couple, um, and they came in to tell us their conversion story. It's a lovely story. They are a beautiful couple, both actor and an actress. And they, they, they don't actually tell this in the interview. They told us this later. So we might have to do another interview, at least. Um, but they actually left the acting world because they were more concerned about their marriage than their careers. Very good story. I hope you'll stick around for it. First, we have Dr. Chris Bergwald here for Biblical Bites with Dr. B. Hello. Hello. Renee Kranz, you? What's today, Renee? It's the 12th Sunday. Actually, you know, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to do something real quick, just real quick. Related to what you just said, okay. they left the acting world because of their marriage. I think it was Oklahoma. I may be wrong. Forgive me, mm-hmm. uh, college women's softball fans. Yes, it was Oklahoma, Oklahoma something University, uh, Oklahoma I don't know OU. Which. It was OU. Okay. Uh, so you heard about this? Mm-hmm. Like, these young women who all like it, this is a public college yes. university in yes. Oklahoma, and they all they talked about how coming to know Jesus Christ has brought them more, not happiness, but joy mm-hmm. than ever before. Mm-hmm. And how that's why they're so relaxed and free yep. in how they play. Because and whether they won or lost didn't matter. Exactly. I yeah. mean, it mattered, they, but they, it didn't they destroy want their world. Exactly. Yes. Because they know there's something greater. Yes. So when yeah. you talked about, so I look forward to yeah. this interview. Yeah. Good interview. Uh, so what's today? What'd you say? I think it's the 12th Sunday in order time. You, you okay. are correct. <laughs> yeah. It, really, it was really, for me the last really two weeks, apparently. It's really unfortunate if uh, you... <laughs> Um, so we're continuing through Matthew's gospel, and that's what I want to focus on again for today. Uh, the reading is from chapter 10, verses 26 through 33, and I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to give it one of my you know, uh, traditional Uh-oh. quick reads. Get ready. Because I do want everybody, to, for the sake of what I want to mention, hear everything. So slow it down on YouTube if you need to. <laughs> Jesus said to the 12, fear no one. Nothing is concealed that will not be revealed, nor a secret that will not be known. What I say to you in the darkness, speak in the light. What you hear whispered, proclaim in the housetops. And do not be afraid of those who kill the body but cannot kill the soul. Rather, be afraid of the one who can destroy both the soul and body in Gehenna. Are not two sparrows sold, sold for a small coin? Yet not one of them falls to the ground without your father's knowledge. Even all the hairs of your head are counted. So do not be afraid. You are worth more than many sparrows. Everyone who acknowledges me before others, I will acknowledge before my heavenly father. But whoever denies me before others, I will deny before my heavenly father. What would you say, Renee, is the point of these words of Jesus to his apostles in this case? Um, I would say to really drive the point home that uh, we are made in his image and likeness and we have great dignity and we should remember that. Amen. Amen. Yep. Um, Great. Anything else? I'm not hunting. I'm just curious. No. Okay. So uh, in addition to that, um, it's an encouragement to them. So do not be afraid of those who kill the body, but cannot kill the soul. Rather be afraid of the one who can destroy both soul and body in Gehenna. He says this right after he says, what I say to you in the darkness, speak in the light. What you hear whispered, proclaim in the housetops. Mm -hmm. So this is a call to the apostles. uh, And just last week, we talked briefly about this. They they, they, he sent them out. Right. He's sending them out to heal, heal the sick and cast out demons mm-hmm. and proclaim the gospel. Right. His gospel. So he's, he's sending them, he's telling them, listen, what I'm telling you, I want you to announce. And y- you will be persecuted. Right. But do not be afraid mm-hmm. of those who can destroy your body. <laughs> Renee knows this, if you're waiting yes, for listening. This is, um, this is actually really, I mean, it's this. there's a reason he says, do not be afraid. There is a, so he, he, start, he starts with fear no one. And then again, after um, the Gehenna thing, he talks about sparrows. Aren't two sparrows sold, sold for a small coin? Sparrows are, have, have hardly any value. Yet not one of them falls to the ground without your father, father's knowledge. Mm-hmm. So even this most valueless thing in human perspective the father knows intimately mm-hmm. even all the hair. So uh, even all the hairs of your head are counted. So do not be afraid. You are worth more than many sparrows. Everyone who acknowledges me before others, I will acknowledge before my heavenly father, but whoever denies me before others, I will deny before my heavenly father. Mm-hmm. So um, you will be persecuted, but the father's 
got everything. Mm -hmm. it, it, he's working. He's working his plan. Um, he works his plan with the darn sparrow, for goodness' yeah. sake. And you're worth <laughs> way more than the sparrows. Yeah. So don't be afraid. Even though, yeah, you might suffer. You might even be killed. Don't be afraid. Um, and remember, if you deny me, I will deny you. That's terrifying, honestly. And, <laughs> but, but be not afraid. But do not be afraid. But do not be afraid. Yeah. It's the call to us to proclaim the gospel as well. Yeah, all right. I'll keep that in mind. Thanks, Dr. <laughs> you B. You bet. <laughs>